Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about Colorado's psychotropic medication guidelines. I'm Jaden Webb, the Medical Director for the Office of Children, Youth, and Families with the Colorado Department of Human Services, which encompasses child welfare and youth corrections. Nationally, there's been a growing awareness of how many youth in foster care are being prescribed multiple psychiatric medications. The figure on the screen shows how many foster and non-foster youth are being prescribed psychotropic medications. As you can see, foster youth are prescribed several times more psychotropic medications than youth not in foster care. This next figure breaks down the types of psychiatric medications being given to foster and non-foster youth. Foster youth are prescribed on average many more medications in each category, including antipsychotics, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, stimulants, and anti-anxiety medications. Research data suggests that about half of youth who come to the attention of the foster system have emotional and mental health challenges that may benefit from specialized mental health treatment. With this in mind, it makes sense that these youth would also receive a disproportionately higher rate of psychotropic medications than the general population. Nevertheless, concerns remain about whether there may sometimes be an over-reliance on psychotropic medications to solve the often complex problems these youth face. Just to give you an idea of the size of our foster system, in 2015, Colorado Department of Human Services had 22,000 open child welfare cases. Of these, 5,000 were placed out of home in foster care, residential treatment, group homes, or kinship care. At any given time, there are approximately 2,000 children in foster care in the state of Colorado. To address the problem of high amounts of psychotropic medications being given to foster children, Colorado in 2013 published state guidelines for the use of psychotropic medications in this population. In 2017, we're publishing an updated version of these guidelines. We've been working closely with the agency that administers Medicaid the Department of Healthcare Policy and Financing to develop these guidelines. Hello, my name is Judy Zerzen. I am the Chief Medical Officer for the Colorado Department of Healthcare Policy and Financing. In 2013, we joined with the Colorado Department of Human Services to create the first edition of the Colorado Guidelines for Psychotropic Medication Use in Children and Adolescents. Medicaid providers play a significant role in providing access to quality physical and behavioral health services for children in the child welfare system. Therefore, it is essential that we collaborate to improve care. We've created a special committee of advisors and experts to help guide psychotropic medication prescribing for kids in Colorado. The committee included child psychiatrists, pediatricians, family medicine providers, pharmacists, social workers, and family advocates from both the private sector and the state. We created the first report to ensure that children in foster care receive high quality, coordinated medical services, including appropriate medication, even as their placements change. We expected the guidelines would be regularly reviewed to keep up with new research and evidence-based practice, and are pleased to introduce the second edition of the guidelines. We have developed five areas of focus around prescribing psychotropic medications. These guidelines and oversight refer only to medications prescribed for children which are payable under Colorado Medicaid. Prescription coverage policies through other plans may or may not have such policies in place. Now, a fair question is why a state needs to bother publishing its own psychotropic guidelines. After all, there are plenty of excellent resources on safe, effective prescribing that are already freely available, such as through the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. The reason for these guidelines is twofold. Number one, as a state, we want to affirm best practices and guidelines in caring for our own foster youth in accordance with federal guidelines. And number two, we want to highlight the progress occurring in Colorado as we address concerns around psychotropic prescribing. Exciting new things are happening that can assist you in caring for these youth. In writing the guidelines, we've referenced literature from the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, the American Psychiatric Association, American Association of Pediatrics, 
the Administration of Children and Families, Seattle Children's Hospital, the Ministry of Government Services in Ontario, as well as the published scientific literature. We've also referenced information contained in other state guidelines and are thankful for their contributions to this complicated issue. Our guideline publication is full of additional resources to assist in making the decision about prescribing psychotropic medications and to help foster youth get the health care that they deserve. For instance, we've developed algorithms to assist clinics in the sometimes confusing process of obtaining consent to treat foster youth. We've collaborated with Seattle Children's to share their treatment algorithms for the common psychiatric complaints encountered in children. We also collaborated with the Government of Ontario to share with you easy-to-use side effect rating scales for psychotropic medications. We have developed cutting-edge medication consent forms that are easy for clinicians to use, but also capture all of the needed information in order to provide treatment. They are freely available to all clinicians. The most recent version of the Colorado Psychotropic Medication Guidelines is available online at the Colorado Department of Human Services website, which is at www.colorado.gov forward slash CDHS. These guidelines are scheduled to be updated in 2017. Click on the link with this video to visit the Colorado Department of Human Services website and download the latest Colorado Psychotropic Medication Guidelines. The Psychotropic Committee believes that the overall purpose of treatment with psychotropic medication is to reduce unwanted mental health symptoms and to restore meaningful quality of life for the youth. Medication should never be used as a punishment or as a condition of placement or as a means to restrain a youth except in emergency situations or for the convenience of caregivers. Whenever possible, the youth and their caregivers should have a voice in their treatment and should clearly understand why they are being given a medication. Above all else, medication prescribing should keep youth safety in mind with constant vigilance for short-term and long-term adverse effects. By publishing these guidelines, we want to help Colorado strive towards being top in the nation in providing safe, effective psychotropic medications for our youth. We hope you will take a moment to look them over and please give us feedback. Mm -hmm.